You're watching Telecom TV from ONS North America 2018 in Los Angeles. And I'm joined now by Pierre Lynch of Keysight Technologies. Yeah, good to see you again on Telecom TV. Hi. Thank you. Um, since we last spoke, um, Keysight has acquired Ixia. That's correct. Yeah, what, 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 what's happened there? What, what's what's, um, what's the rationale? Well, the acquisition happened about April or May last year, and the true transition happened this February. Uh, it, it's, it's a complementary acquisition, and it's fantastic, because they're, they're more focused on the radio aspects, 5G, 4G, and things like that, spectrum analyzers, and we do the networking. And so it's a totally complementary acquisition, and uh, the way I like to think about it is a company of geeks acquired a smaller company of geeks, and it works out just fine. <laughs> Much made in heaven. It is. <laughs> uh, we're at the ONS show. Um, open networking is, in, is, the, is the big topic. Um, has open source been accepted by the, the telecoms industry as, as, as the norm and the way to move forward? As the norm is a little strong, I think, but I think it's on the way, absolutely. You'll notice all the telecom operators participating here, especially with the, while well, OPNV had a lot of operators involved, but now with ONAP, it's even bigger. So it, it's, it's a big deal. People are paying a lot of attention to it. It's a massively ambitious project but with the people that are being thrown at it, with all these really important uh, mature operators, I do think it's aimed towards success. Well, let's talk about OPNFV. Um, you're heavily involved with OPNFV. We've been, what, five years or so of NFV in, in, in tele telecoms? Um, Correct. What, what stage are we at? And, and what are the, the challenges that, that the industry still faces to, 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 to further its, its rollout and development? It's, it's always a progression, you know, and especially in open source. And OPNFV, OPNFV is a little bit of a different project. That's why I like it so much. It's an integration project. It, it takes open source components and, and provides a platform. And, and they call themselves a reference platform. And the, but the cool, one of the coolest things, I think, is uh, the, one of the resulting things from OPNFV is it's a testing exercise as well. So they're the masters of testing. They, they've been pushing the boundaries of really, really advanced CI type of testing, uh, cross-community testing and all that, uh, to the point where people are starting to use their test frameworks in their own labs. I've seen a lot of operators now using, for example, Funk Test from OPNV, Yardstick from OPNV, for their own in-lab testing, because the frameworks are getting so mature and so, and so complete that it's valuable. Why is testing so critical for, for NFV? It's brand new, you know, so, and it's all software. So it's, it's, it's a bunch of components. The whole goal, right, is reusable Lego blocks and, and to be able to mix and match these components. So interop becomes a big deal. Uh, the, the interfaces aren't quite, these guys are building interfaces while Azetsi is trying to standardize interfaces. We're not at a in total interop on a per API basis yet, but we're well on our way. But what it does mean is a, a lot of emphasis on testing and integration, which is what OPNV specializes in. They mentioned Etsy there. Mm. Um, what's the relationship like between Etsy's NFV ISG and uh, OPNFV? It's it's closer than what people think. You know, so at Etsy NFV, I chair the TST working group. But part of our charter is not just testing it's open source collaboration. So we're very involved here. There's a, three or four people from the working group that are here actively involved in OPNV and ONAP projects here. Uh, all week long, I've been talking to all the test groups here uh, how to collaborate between what we do best at Etsy, NFV, and what they do best here. And typically, the, the boundary there is we're better at methodologies, test plans, and things, the more formal, boring aspects that engineers hate while as they are the master implementers and automators. They automate everything. So, and, and through that line and through a, a bunch of other projects, we're finding a lot of space for collaboration. It's pretty tight, actually. It's very good. So, will this collaboration lead to some interesting news in the, in the, in the year ahead? Are we, are we going to see a mix? Well, the, the coolest thing right now is OPNFV uh, will be their next plug fest is co-located with the Etsy NFV plug test in our dear city of Sofia, Antipolis. So they'll host it. You uh, know the uh, amphitheater. It'll be held in the 200-person amphitheater downstairs. 
Uh, the last one was held there in January. There's 45 participating companies. OPNFB was there as well. But this time, a step further is a co-location of both Plug Test and Plug Fest. So, and that is another subject that's been going on this week is how do we, how do we modify the test plans? How do we cross-pollinate on, on the hand-to-hand, person-to-person testing? And we're going through that right now. So this really emphasizes the importance of collaboration Absolutely. when using open source. Yeah, yeah. And, and testing has been at the forefront of that collaboration. There's other exercises in collaboration that are going on as well. But the testing aspects has been going on for a few years. It's, it's a bit unfair because you know, NFE is so new, um, and yet we're, we're bombarded with what's coming next, life after NFE and SDN. Um, how, how, how do you cope with all this? How do you cope with this ever-changing dynamic landscape? It's, it's changing at lightning speed. I'm from the 3G, 4G, 3GPP world, and that changes pretty fast as well. What's the next G? This is accelerating things even more. And everybody realizes the benefits once we'll get there, and that's what's accelerating things, plus, plus. The big dif difference with NFV and SDN and everything is that it, it, it's on a common hardware. So that brings in all the software developers, which spawns open source much easier. Uh, a ton of communities have just sprung up validly, and, and they're all contributing in all their own different ways. And, and you know, I always look at it, I'm a bit of a, an optimist, but the, it's not a competition. It's a lot of collaboration, and in fact, it's complementary. You know, for a lot of the aspects, it's very complimentary. It's not ONAP versus Etsy. It isn't. Nobody thinks that. We're just trying to work together to try to get to the same place. Pierre, as always, pleasure to meet you, and thank you for joining us on Telecom TV. Anytime. Pleasure to be here.